From Chuck Taylor to Kevin Durant, sneakers have been more than a functional shoe. They have become a fashion statement. Valley View reporter Evan Robinson joins us from the newsroom with the story. Since the 1980s, sneakers have become a symbol of status, skill, and fashion. So many people wanted to be like Mike, Spike Lee, and the Fresh Prince. What's the cornerstone of your wardrobe? It's the shoes! <laughs> Derek Dow is a firm believer in a shoe can make or break an outfit. He is a student filmmaker making a short documentary about sneaker culture called Beyond the Soul. The most interesting thing I learned about sneaker culture from like some of the people that I interviewed is that it is multicultural. It's like a small little community. You know, you talk, you talk to, I was just talking to one of my friends the other day and you know, we could talk for hours about Jordans, look them up online and stuff. It's just like a little small community. Yeah, I think Jordans especially and just the whole thing uh, Nike has done, just bringing people together, forming a whole whole different world in the, in the sneaker just game. Sneaker heads. A sneaker head is a person who collects limited, rare, original, or exclusive shoes. Derek has over 150 sneakers in his collection, like these LeBron James Special Edition Christmas shoes and these limited edition Statue of Liberty sneakers. I mean, I love them, you know, I mean, you got the lion everywhere. You know. The Air Jordan line is said to be the kickoff point of infatuation with sneakers. Collector Derek Dow says it's becoming a business. Oh yeah. Within five minutes of me buying it, I can put it online and make $300, $400, $500. Whether it's playing basketball, nostalgia, or a collector's item, sneakerheads love consignment shops. The consignment store is uh, people bring in shoes here and they bring in shoes on a daily basis and we sell it here for the resale value, which is 85. I think it gives you more of a selection, like so you don't have to like get up at eight o'clock in the morning. For certain shoes, I think it's definitely a good idea. These type of Jordans are more exclusive, so I'm looking for a variety. Being a sneakerhead is not just for guys. Ladies get in on the action too. You don't have to be a baller, you don't have to be a boy, you can be a girl and rock some sneakers. I love what this is. This is our comic books. These are our briefcases. These are our fancy suits. Being a sneakerhead is more than the shoes. It's a lifestyle. Whether they're Nike, Reebok, Adidas, or Sacconis, looks like sneakers won't be going away for a long time. Back to you in the studio.